Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're actually going to hop back onto the D16Z6 build. Um, I'm actually going to kind of test fit everything. There's still quite a bit I got to do um, as far as motor prep. Of course, you know, eventually I want to get it back to the machine shop, get it hot tanked. Because um, it's a possibility, you know, for the uh, cradle I got to do some notching for the uh, rods. Uh, but, you know, I've kind of cleaned everything up a little bit here and I'm going to start to get my pistons together. So I actually was able to get one together here. One of my skunk twos together. So I'm going to get these four, uh, well, three more put back together. Um, set my bearings in. I do have my bearings um, for the motor. I'm going to put those in um, as before. They are the ACL uh, performance bearings here, race bearings. Um, so I'm going to get those put in um, again just kind of test everything up and kind of see how it goes from there so um, Again, I'm going to plastic gauge make sure everything is the spec everything looks good So we're going to do that, um, but I still got to put some things together So let me go ahead and put some of these pistons together and uh, we'll see about test fitting this crank and see how it all works So here I am with the pistons, I mean the uh, rods and the pistons. Um, I actually have one together already. Um, and just to show, you know, of course, um, you have your intake, uh, which is the larger side, and the exhaust, which is the smaller side. And from the research that I've done, 
Um, of course, you have your uh, tangs. I'll show you here on this one. I pulled apart these little grooves where the bearings sit in here is actually facing the exhaust side. So I'm going to try to assemble this. I got uh, three more to do here. Um, plus, I'll show you how to separate it when you first get it. That's kind of difficult. But uh, other than that, we'll go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and get it put together. So let me hop to it. Let me tell you, this thing was kind of a pain to get in there, but I think I figured out a technique. So, um, yeah, we got it in there finally. So now I'm going to grease this up a little bit, put it on the rod here and put it in and put the other retaining clip in. So one thing I like about the Skunk 2 so far, it's probably hard to say, see, um, but there's numbers on the side of the rods here so you let you know exactly which ones line up the which. So um, I do like that. Um, it also came with the instructions uh, to let you know what the torque specs are and everything like that. So that's what I like about it. Now, of course, these uh, rod cap bolts are a little tight on there. So of course I got my impact and of course these are the 12 point, but I do got the spline socket. So I'm using that to kind of Take it off, works great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off and get another piston installed. Fortunately, it fell on carpet, so nothing really happened to it, so that's positive. Um, so now that I got this apart, um, and of course I am using a dead blow hammer, so um, that way I don't damage the uh, the rod and didn't damage it on the floor, so that's positive. So um, let's go ahead and get this one assembled.
All right, guys, so I finally got all the pistons in. Um, I didn't actually torque everything down, didn't install the bolts for the cradle here or anything. Just kind of giving it a quick test. Of course, I know it'll change the, the clearances once I tighten everything down, uh, which I still do, because I want to check to make sure uh, that these pistons are clearing. Um, but just kind of my initial test, as you can kind of see. And of course, I did lube the cylinders. It looks like I'm actually clearing the cradle. And you can still see the gap I have in the, the rod there. It looks like I'm clearing it. So once I tighten that down, tighten the cradle down, I think I'll be good. I did check them on all four. Just to be sure. And of course, I still do my checks and, and all that good stuff. I don't think the rods are hitting either. I don't hear any rubbing or clanging, though it's kind of tough to see. Let's see. It's really tough to see down in there. As you can see the other side there. Looks like plenty of clearance down there. So I might actually be in good shape. But I do think that's going to be it for this episode. Again, just trying to produce some content for you. So plenty more to come with this motor here. Um, I'm going to check some clearances. You know, I have my uh, plastic gauge over here. So, you know, I'll figure out which one of those I'm going to use. Um, and then, you know, kind of make sure all the, all the clearances are good for the bearings. Um, but I'm pretty happy. Um, doesn't look like a whole lot's going to really bang or clang. Uh, though I'll give you guys another update in the next video. Um, once I tighten and torque all these bolts down to kind of see where it all stands. So I'm still going to tighten the, the rod bolts or the rod, you know, the rod bolts and the cradle down, make sure everything is still clearing good. Um, and then we should be good to go. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, stay in tune for the build here. Uh, still plenty to do with the Civic. Uh, the motor's coming along. I got some more parts to order for that. Um, if everything does check out good with the uh, clearances here, um, I'll get the block set up and get ready for paint. Um, so we are heading into the fall season, so I would definitely want to get that done before it gets cold outside so I can really start knocking out this build. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll check you guys in the next episode. Peace.